Brittany here with Rip Rocks Beauty. Today we're going to do some curling tutorials on curling with a clamp and without a clamp. I'm here with my friend Amber and I'm going to show you really quick how we do some at home curls. Rule number one, make sure your hair is super dry before you put curling iron through it or you're going to have a catastrophe. Step two is use something that you're going to have to hold the curl. So my favorite is white sands. It's a liquid texturizer and I like the firm or the medium hold. So when I go in the hair here, I'm just going to take the section because I want to have really loose wavy, kind of beachy hair. I'm just going to spray it a little bit. You don't need to saturate it, just enough for the curling iron to kind of hold it. So I'm going to go with the clamp and without a clamp. And more of a modern curl is curling it away from the face and leaving the ends out. So you're going to hold it for a few seconds and then you're just going to drop it out, let it cool before you pull it apart. Now for this curl, I'm going to use it without the clamp, so I'm going to just go right on top of the clamp. And like I said, again, just hold it, let the curl cool before you go and you take it apart. Now, when you want to get to the back of the head, you kind of want to have a little bit more fun. And you want to go both ways. So before I'm going this way, this time I'm going to take it and I'm going to go actually the opposite way. And it's going to kind of break it up, give it a little bit more texture and movement in the hair. Cool. So we'll check back when we're all done. And this is our finished product. Thanks. See you soon.